talk about the difference between HD lace and film lace so you don't end up buying the wrong type of lace for your need or you don't end up getting scammed because someone is telling you one is expensive than the other. Let's start with HD lace. HD lace compared to Swiss lace it's a much better result when you're doing an install. In comparison to Swiss lace, HD lace is way thinner. So when you lay that on your head or when you put your glue on it or when you tint it, it just melts right into your skin. I'm gonna show you an example of HD lace now. Here I have a closure with HD lace. So this is what you call HD lace. It's a thinner type of lace. It blends into your skin tone so if I show you that this hasn't been tinted yet so you can imagine if it gets tinted to my skin tone it's just gonna sink right in it also comes in quite thin when you hold it you could tell that the texture is not as thick as a Swiss lace will be the thing to know about HD laces for your wig especially is it is actually lightweight so it is more comfortable to wear especially in a hot country or in a very hot weather you, swiss lace is also can be lightweight but compared to hd lace this is way lighter so we're talking about like a thinner material on your head just imagine remember when we used to have like dome caps and we had to have like mesh cap so you imagine when you have like dome cap wig on you know how it might be a bit uncomfortable because obviously it's thicker and then you have mesh where there is more room to breathe that is basically the difference between a swiss lace and hd lace it's not a very good comparison because swiss laces are not as dome as a dome cap will be but this is just to show you that it is more comfortable to wear a good point i need to point out when it comes to hd laces is because it blends well with your skin tone so for example you know when you see some frontals and you can see like the line of the frontal and everything like that if hd lace is done properly and tinted to your skin tone this shouldn't happen so it's really important that even though this is thin and not as visible as it would be for swiss laces it's still important to tint it because as you can see even though it sinks right in it's not my skin tone this week on here is hd lace so i don't know if you can see it that it's been tinted to my skin tone i didn't actually tint it i didn't have any time to but i just added foundation you don't need to tint hd lace in order to get a good good like sink into your skin tone sink i don't know if that's right but you get my drift <laughs> let me know if you want me to show you how to tint a good lace like a homemade tint without having to buy a tint spray or things like that yep Another point about HD laces is actually quite easily accessible now. So let me give you a backstory. When I started bridal hair in like, I think I started in 2018. Trust me, it was so difficult to get HD laces. Like you couldn't just go to a vendor and say, can I have HD lace? Because most of this are done by custom order so you have to literally want to buy quite a lot before you get someone that does hd lace it's, it's it was a bit rare it was really rare so at that time there were good swiss laces that a lot of people were using and still used to present but hd laces were not easily accessible but now girl you can get hd lace from anywhere like aliexpress you can get hd laces however the lace doesn't mean the hair is good so for example you can get a bad hair bad hair in hd lace does that make any sense so so they can sell you a good lace but it doesn't mean the hair will be good so you can get hd laces easily accessible I will say though, I see it on Amazon and boy, mm, I've been giving like a wig from Amazon. The lace will not blend into the skin. But moving on to the next one is film laces. Now, not a lot of people know what film lace is because it's not actually as easily accessible as HD lace. So I'm going to explain what film lace is. Film lace is like the premium version of HD lace. So... In the example I gave, usually your HD lace you get from like 18 denier to like 10, 10 denier, which is like 
between the range so you can get a good HD lace which is like a 10 or 11 or you could get a not so good HD lace which is like 18 and above before the Swiss lace this is just an example of the denier this is not the exact um exact thickness but this is an example of i'm just giving you like a broad example now for film laces we're talking about from 10 to like five because anything below five i'm sure it's going to be too thin any clothes maker in the building please correct me if i'm wrong but this is just what i'm thinking in my head so they are very thin film laces are so good that if you get a good one honestly people will literally you know when they say where's the lace that is it people will come people literally need to bend to look at your hair to see where the lace is so that is how good a film lace is the thing about film laces are they're not as easily accessible as you would find hd lace because sometimes it, you need to actually request you need to make a custom order you need to make a massive bulk order Order for you to get a film lace the reason is because when it comes to tying in film laces it's actually a bit of a struggle for the vendors because because the material is really thin this is not a film lace i'm going to show you a similar film lace but i'm just showing you with this one the lace is very thin when they do the knot tying it breaks the laces because it takes exceptional skill to actually do it you have to be actually good at um, ventilating so that's why a lot of the vendors don't just sell film laces another thing about film laces because it is more expensive than hd lace given the example that i've just gave about the fact that it takes a while it takes time it takes a more skilled ventilator in order to ventilate a film lace film laces can also have their own cons that to be honest even though they look so good, I do not advise a film lace for everyday wear. Now, I sell film laces, but my raw hair wigs are made of film laces, but I had to make my film laces a bit thicker than normal film lace, which meant I had to do a massive custom order in order to fit that in to my order. So for example, this is my film lace, my film lace, yeah, but as you can see, this is more this sinks better into the skin i've made this a little bit not as thick as the hd lace and a bit thicker than a film lace the reason i'm doing this is because film laces are not durable they are not durable at all if you want usually when i sell my wigs to my customers i give them like a long time before the wig starts breaking apart but for film laces, the, it's so not durable that if you brush the hair too much, you might get a hole in it. That's how bad it is. Like if you if you dig a comb in it and you pull it out, you might just pull and rip the lace out. So that is how ba bad. I wouldn't say bad because it's actually, it actually looks good, but it's just not as durable. Another point is the fact that a film lace can actually be done badly but before i move on to the bad side of film lace i'm gonna show you a film lace on a wig so that you see how it looks so this is one of my wigs and if i show you I how it sinks right into the skin it is so good honestly it looks so good but the reason i like my own version which if you're looking to do it try and get it a bit thicker is the fact that it is durable and it can wear it for a long time Let's talk about the bad side of film laces so some people try to do film lace it's terrible terrible so i give you an example of the reason why it gets really expensive or the fact that it's not easily accessible is is the ventilation of the laces where the knots have been tied some people try to get away with dealing with this like for example this is a film lace the lace itself is a film lace as you can see it's it, it could have been a great one like i'm sure you think okay this looks good what's the problem people try to find ways in order to make this easily done and they do this by ventilating and then ventilating and ventilating and then it gets so bulky that when you're trying to pluck the hair it just frustrates you another thing is they decide to like do 
like a triple knotting or like a double knotting where the front of the hair would be single knotting then here is like double knots and then they triple knot the back of it because they try to compress the way it stretches if that makes sense so if you get a vendor that sells a film lace you need to ask them if it's single knotting all through or at least if it's a double knot it should be maybe double knot and then single knot in front of it or to the end and then towards the end of the the end of the lace which is usually here then it can be a double knot in because when you pack the hair you wouldn't see any like big knots because those big knots no matter how you bleach them they're still quite visible has anyone found a way to actually make a triple knot in lace look good have you found a way to do that let me know in the comment section if you have because i am actually curious as to how i can make this work as is really annoying when you obviously get samples and you end up not using that because obviously the lace or the knotting is terrible so let me know in the comment section how you work around all of this now you're probably thinking okay so where am i gonna get this vendor that sells a good stage HD lace or how am i gonna know if the hair i'm buying is raw or how am i gonna know or what questions should i ask i have a playlist here that literally breaks down how to find a good raw hair how to know raw hair the raw hair versus virgin hair everything you need to know about hair about bundles about wigs everything is here for you to watch thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one